story of a certain Chassid who came to his Rebbe, the Tzemach Tzedek, the third Rebbe of Chabad. And he said to the Rebbe, I'm embarrassed to share this with you, but I'm struggling with a problem called Sveikus in Amunah. I have doubts in my faith in God, knowing fully that that's probably a really terrible concept. But Tzemach Tzedek looked at him and said, don't worry about it. So the Chassid was shaken and he started to get excited and he said to the Rebbe, Rebbe, perhaps you didn't hear me, I'm sorry to be disrespectful, but I said, I've got doubts in faith. When the Tzemach Tzedek saw him so excited, he said, oh, you're excited, you're worried, you're struggling, that's okay. There's nothing more crucial for spiritual growth than fire, than passion. In this week's parsha, we are taught that in the building of the Mishkan, they, when they built the sanctuary, the tabernacle for God in the desert, there was a mizbech, there was an altar. And the Torah tells us that upon the altar there needed to be a fire that burned constantly. And the pasuk, the verse tells us, ala mizbech tukabbo, and the fire on the altar shall remain burning on it. Lo tichbe, it shall not be extinguished. And the commentaries explain that the fire, the constant fire on the altar was a symbol of the constant fire and passion that each and one of us have to have within ourselves. We have problems, we have challenges, we do struggle, we, we rise and we fail, but as long as the fire is still burning, as long as we've got passion, there's always hope. In fact, there's a Hasidic twist on this particular verse, when the verse tells us that the fire shall not be extinguished, lo tichbe, the Hasidic masters say, you can read it a bit differently, that lo tichbe, comma, La, the not, the negativity will be extinguished. That when there's an esh tamid, when there's a constant fire, as long as we have a fire burning within us, as long as there's passion, as long as there's excitement and enthusiasm, that anything to do with law, not, negativity, something negative, tichbe, will be extinguished. This concept perhaps is also connected with the upcoming festival of Pesach. We know that when the Jews left Egypt, one of the inaugural rituals they had to go through before they experienced Exodus was the bringing of the Paschal Lamb and thereafter every year they had to bring the Korban Pesach. One of the laws of the Korban Pesach was that it had to be roasted on an open fire and not cooked in any water. One of the symbolisms behind that is that at the beginning of Exodus to free ourselves from our own prison, to go out of our own Egypt, the number one ingredient is passion, warmth, excitement. Lord Tichbe, when there's passion, negativity becomes extinguished. Have a good day and a Shabbat Shalom.